Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the second hour of Under the Fallen Maple, issue number three, The Dragon of Hanamura. Okay, so we're going after the spicy durian fruit that's going to save the town. We are indeed. So, um, we know where it is based on the map from earlier. How are we getting there and who's going to find this thing? I mean, we have to get there by walking, presumably, mm -hmm. slash moving quickly, however we'd like to do that. Sure. Um, and what skills would be relevant to finding a thing? Harvesting. harvesting. I think I might have harvesting. You have to harvest enough of it to turn into enough yeah. treats to lure the thing away, right? I have harvester. Probably good because I'm a baker. Well, well. Then, mm -hmm. Rosie, you are our, you're our fearless leader. I don't so have... Is there no like trying to get to the place, or are we just gonna straight up? No, we we cut we cut we to cut you guys to... looking for this place. Okay. Um, so I imagine you guys are in a um, a small woodland area. Mm -hmm. However, the 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 drought extends all the way up here as well. Um, it might be it's going to be a factor in this test that makes it a little bit more difficult than it normally would be. I have What's a. Up? So I have weather watcher. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can help. And I'm thinking I can help. Mm -hmm. That's okay. all that was up. You know, you know <laughs> that um, if the most resilient of the of the batches would would grow in this certain area, is that is that what you're thinking? Yeah, like, I think what, I'm sort of angling. How does for, that like, help? Yeah, maybe like I know, like maybe an altitude or something won't be affected by the drought because I understand a little more about like how weather works or something. Or there's like okay. a depression in the land somewhere where maybe it's Rain more, can, like... more moisture collects or something mm -hmm. okay. okay so um Wayland can help can ash help at all you would need weather watcher or laborer uh, i have laborer i can carry so the stuff you're just working hard you're just like you like once, over there once, okay. once we find it i can pick it up and carry it yeah, yeah and then you can slice and dice and like fruit ninja the, the <laughs> durians yeah but not with, with that sword there, though so um, I'm also going to use uh, determined because I'm determined to fucking get this done. So I want to save my town. I don't want my mom's bakery to be crushed. I want to do this as quickly as possible. Um, what's the ob? Um, so the ob is going to be it's late summer. So one and you want something for a bakery. So that's um, one, two, three, four, five. Five. Oh, my God. Oh, God, no. Oh, you got four. Got two, two sixes. sixes. Got two sixes. You have All one right. fate left. I'm going to explode my sixes. Just fucking go. I don't even care. Fucking go. This is your moment yeah. in the sun. Yeah, you got it. Cool. Um, so you boosted up to... Um, oh, my God. Yeah, so you got... Perfect. So you got six over five, which means you won. So you didn't um, get to the tie or whatever. So you guys are struggling. You're struggling to find these things. And, and at the last minute, um, you guys kick over and there's like one this bush that's pristine. Long. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, it, there's no. You go. There's no. There's no problem to it. It's just dramatic. No, it's like, yeah. Is... Dramatically, it's it's a it's just happening, and you find just the the right amount to to bring it back. Okay. And, so um, I think that what this is is like we trek all the way to wherever this yeah. is supposed to be and like Wayland's doing his whole like well you know this this dwelling this like valley or whatever would collect more rainfall and so if there's any bushes it would be in there or whatever yeah. and um ash is just like got a pack ready to like carry if we find any and i'm just doing this whole like frantic like oh my god like if we don't get this stuff then like my entire village is gonna be crushed and <laughs> this is bad like it's never been um a personal thing i guess like rosie's very good at um uh negotiating other people's problems but when it's like her house and her family that's being all like possibly just wrecked alarms are going off yeah and you she's, to, like, she's just... not cool calm and collected and she's not a font feel, of I advice feel like, yeah. i feel like a lot of that is it, it, through a lot of that ash would be trying to like help you collect yourself a little bit mm -hmm. there's yeah. the like no no we have to be we have to be cold about this now you know like there's no other option we either do this and it works or we don't and it doesn't and we find something else uh, right uh 
okay, where would I find this plant? Ash, can you go look? And like, she's directing, like, let's yeah. look at this say. And then we find the beautiful bush full of the perfect amount of this really disgusting, smelly fish fruit. And I think we find it like with our noses because it smells really bad. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And so we re- sigh of relief. We gather as much as can fit in Ash's pack and we're going back to town. Um, hopefully t- to not see it completely destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I'll just mention that like during that whole sequence, I not only like doing the weather thing and like wetting my paw and like holding it up to the wind and stuff like sort of nonsensical actions, but I was getting really into the sort of like we're on a mission in the woods, like gotta, gotta do survival kind of stuff. And like, at some point I acquired you know, like I put some sort of like face paint lines beneath my eyes. Um, so I'm just like trying to like play the part really strongly and it's a little over the top before we head back. Cool. Um, and it's at this point of the game where it's no longer my GM turn. It's your guys turn. So whatever you guys want to do, you have to step up and spend a check at this point uh, in order for it to happen. Because you guys have went through a slew of tests and complications, and this is we as did. far we've gotten with it. So, okay. okay. I mean, I know what my check is going to be. It's going to be make the most smelly, gross, delicious fur snapping turtles pie or whatever out of this fruit to try and, you know, lure it away. And I mean, I know that I want to be the one to present it and like actually confront the turtle I mean, with that thing. I think that like if we're discussing it um it would be like you have to run and you have to run quickly and you have to like make sure it smells it and then you have to get out because it will just snap out and eat it and that's like i can't make another one yeah so here's the question guys are you going to use your parents bakery like right under its nose to make this you can't no you really can't you're gonna have to do something else right I, mean, we can just, I don't know, like get gathered supplies from my parents' bakery and then take it somewhere else. Yeah. To You're going to have to make this hodgepodge thing and then bring it into people town have or something, home, right? People have Yeah, I mean, home someone else has got to be stoves. baking at some point in the yeah. town. Like people cook food in their own homes at some point. We just need to like maybe consult your mom and, you know, she can help us expedite like, well, who else, who else around knows like... Has a, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I definitely think that Waylon can take the lead in terms of like getting the turtle with the pie to like skedaddle. Yeah. Um, okay. But my check is definitely the making it the most tasty and delicious pie yeah. that has ever encountered a snapping turtle's face. Cool. So then let's let's do the baker one then, right? Let's. Okay. I feel like this test in order to make the delicious pie that's uh-huh. suitable for the snapping turtle is the first test that we're gonna do. Yeah. So I'm, mm-hmm. I'm a baker. Do I get a plus from having the perfect snapping turtle ingredients? Yes. Um, you do. You have supplies there. And that's like one. Mm-hmm. Um. Do I get anything else that could help me out with this? Um, do you have any traits you can call on anybody want to help you I mean I want to help but I'm not sure I definitely want to help too but I don't know what can help with baker skills and relevant help for baker instructor scientist or laborer scientist and laborer I can labor I can labor all right I'm directing you to when when Rosie's like I need you to like you know pound that dough or whatever it's like okay (laughs) yeah you're exactly (laughs) and you're like sword is like standing in the corner of the room and not being used for this task at all and like tempting you (laughs) yeah yeah Okay, nice. yeah. So you're you're my you're my laborer mouse. I'm I'm the baker mouse. Um, I am your laborer mouse indeed. What's the do, do bakers have sous chefs? Is that what uh, it, I mean it would just be yeah. like a yeah. Um, pastry. Yeah. Like you're the head chef and you're like ordering ash around. <laughs> no. Grab grab the flour, mix it really well, mix it well. Okay, <laughs> let it right sit for thirty seconds. Okay, okay, and yeah, okay. 
Yeah, cool. I'm I'm handling the fruit so that we have as much as possible and my hands are all smelly and gross and like my entire mouse body is just covered with the scent of this and I'm like I can't go near the snapping turtle because if I go near it it'll just smell me yeah. and that'll just be bad. So Waylon, like this is going to have to fall to you. Like, you know, like, this, yeah, you, you already smell of it, right? Cause it's I all smell over of, it's all over me. So, mm. um, what's the ob for this? Oh yeah. You smell horrible. I smell so bad. Uh, like rotten fish. It's disgusting. Um, yeah. That's why these berries are out in the middle of nowhere and no one likes them. Okay. So the ob for this is going to, I'm going to say it's a, a three. Okay, well, I don't have anything that can help. Fuck. I burn it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, you guys, you try your best and it's it's not it's it's this horrible burnt disgusting blobby mess and it's somehow you made it smell worse. <laughs> I um, mean, maybe it'll still I don't have Oh. So, um, your plan has failed. No. I mean, you can try giving that thing to it, but it's probably not going to like it. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. All of that work. All of that work. It's not a good bake. It's not a good bake. You're getting sent home. Um, the great mouse bake off. Um, so... Is there looking, nothing I can do? Looking, looking dejectedly at the the poorly baked. Do you have a wise? Can you, yeah. Can you salvage I have, it? I have herb wise. Maybe. Yeah, maybe you can. Yeah. Maybe. What can what I? Is, do? What is that? What do you do? I, I mean, I find like. So you can spend a persona to reroll all failures. Okay, with that wise. Yeah. So if you could be yeah, yeah overworked I mean, yeah. under under over overworked underproved. Yep. Yeah, so basically like yeah. we're we're baking this thing and it smells disgusting the whole time and you can't just open the oven to like yeah. check on it because then all the heat would leave. Um so I'm baking this thing and I'm just like is it done? Is it done? I don't know. Like I've never like this it smells really bad the whole time and then like it starts to smell really bad and so i frantically pull it black out black smoke oven, yeah and it's totally burnt but <laughs> i i'm like okay um uh there's oh i know like there's some kind of like i don't know fancy like seasonings or something sees yeah there's some other herbs and, and stuff and i like kind of make it so it'll cover up the like black outsides of it and also make it smell like it's supposed to smell because i can smell it on myself how it's supposed to smell so i'm like okay if i put some like mint and like cilantro on this then it will smell not so burnt <laughs> yeah. or whatever mm -hmm. i love it and so yep. i reroll my three the, failures yeah the fail yeah and the failure to this is totally what uh Kelsa said in chat the the failure is going to be if you still want to do this thing, you're the best smelling thing <laughs> around for this. So you will be the bait. So I got two. I tied. I tied it. Okay. So um, we can either uh, break this down into the tiebreaker roll. Um, you can spend, or actually you can't spend, can't spend anything. Yeah, you can't earn checks in the player's turn. So I guess we're doing the tiebreaker roll. Wait, 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 wait. I'm okay. helping with this. I'm helping with this, right? Like were, this, this task. Were... Can I apply a tool to the situation? You are already were applying a tool to the situation. Was I? Not well. When you I help, mean... when somebody helps someone else, you can only add one die to the pool. Okay, so you can't, it is. Like, you can't like no, put another. But the tool supply, there. yeah. But supplies were already a factor in this test because that's the the yeah. fruit that you guys got. Okay. Yeah. All right. Never mind. I was gonna yeah. try and break the tie with my legendary sword. <laughs> <laughs> No. Okay. Um, so it's yeah. tied. So what's the tiebreaker roll? So uh, this is a bakery test. So that's I think that's a health test. So this is going to be health um, versus this um, boy. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck I roll as a GM for this. To be honest with you, uh, normally it's a, a versus test. Maybe... No, wait, no, because if you tie the obstacle, you beat it. That's I got so caught in that it's a versus test. If it's you not. do. 
yeah, you you hit the obstacle. You just got it. It's fine. <laughs> Jesus. Like, wow. Like, like, what is like wrong with me? Decorate wow. the fucking pie to look like so it's salvaged. Kind of kid's birthday cake. And I'm yes. like, it's fine. It'll be fine. And you guys are like standing like 10 feet away from me because I smell so bad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like so. So wait. So are we. You made that to feed it or to poison it. it it's, which was the plan? We're not going to kill it. We could never move that thing. It's huge. And it's going to be a mom. Like, I don't want to kill it. So you're going to try to lure it away. Waylon, you have to, yeah, you have to make sure that it smells the pie and it's going after you. And then you just have to book it. I don't know. Wait, somewhere. wait, wait, Waylon. It's smart, right? If we have the pie, we could talk to it and say, we'll give it to you if you leave. What if it just eats Waylon and the pie? Yeah, totally. Yeah, wasn't. Rosie's got a point there. <laughs> Uh, the good news is I don't think we have to worry about it smelling it or not. I think it's pretty guaranteed that um, it will smell the pie. Uh, look, we can do this. Uh, R Rosie, you did some, and I like look at the pie, like sort of suspiciously, great work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great work. Yeah, <laughs> We're exactly. Like, like, it's okay. <laughs> It's disgusting. I understand. It's like just Waylon, just get the get the dragon to leave my town. All right, let's do this. But uh, if we if it, if it doesn't work, what should happen next? So, well, I think I think, and I look to Ash. If it doesn't work, you're gonna be inside it, and I'm coming after you. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if that's so reassuring, Ash. Uh, uh. If it doesn't work, that, that's it. It will work. This is the perfect plan. It's foolproof. Yeah. So everything else has worked really great up until now. Mechanically, just to give you guys an idea of how I see this playing out, this is going to be what's called a complex test, and it's going to be a series of obstacles. Uh, the first one is going to be, I think it might like presenting it will probably be scientist right or maybe it's persuade i'll be willing to hear arguments of what this actually is how you're going to persuade it why would it be science but, but the second one then it is fucking running <laughs> <laughs> right so um well i think so the reason why i thought it was scientist is because you're trying to um attract it or maybe hunter actually hunter is, is the way better one oh, of course yeah. it's hunter it's hunter followed I... by um Either like a health test or something that you're running away from this thing, or maybe maybe, like, maybe escaping. I feel like it's persuade personally, just because that's the nature of this whole exercise. Like we're persuading you're gonna, like, it. Stand out in the like, with a yard thing. And you're like, hey, look at this pie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm cool with I'm cool with persuade. <laughs> so this is a versus a test. Right. Right. Okay. So is anybody going to help you? So are you guys all going out there? Just you're kind of in the lead, holding this this yeah, pie, like trying to like you guys look have, at this. You guys pie. like have to take positions up that are like relatively. I'm taking a position uh, downwind <laughs> or whatever, so it doesn't smell me. <laughs> I'm I'm ready to jump in with my sword if it looks like you're gonna get eaten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. this is what a persuader test. Mm -hmm. So a so failure. Yeah. Relevant help is manipulator or persuader. I mean, I have Persuader as well. So I think that the way that I'm helping is I'm just like, okay, like if it doesn't smell you, then I will, I'll, I'll help to like yell at it or whatever so that it goes your way. I, I have a manipulator, so okay. I, I, um, I, I am subtly um, directing it in your way because I don't have anything that it wants to eat. I just have a sharp object. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, would you really rather eat me? Probably not. You should go that way. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. I think I think failing this, you will just give you guys an idea. You're probably going to end up having to fight it. And the best thing you will be able to do on the table is to drive it off. You, you cannot kill it. Well, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Painting a grim picture. It'll be fine. Okay. If by grim you mean awesome. <laughs> so, so we have the picture of you guys bringing out this fishy durian burnt 
<laughs> it's horrifying. It's it's horrifying. It's the worst thing you've ever made. <laughs> but for good, the best possible reasons. Yes. Um, yeah, the villagers are just like, what the fuck are you? Yeah, <laughs> they're the whole the whole town is waiting at bated breath. Um, the streets are deserted as you guys approach the pond uh, with with the pie. Let's make the ops. Let's make the test now. This is a versus test, so you're, you're going to go. Uh, you're going to go against its nature. I'm giving you a screen. hype speech. <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. You got this. Cheerleader. So you're trying to persuade it. Let me just check its writing swimming. Hmm. I just rolled. Oh. Okay, that's not bad. Pray the thing is bad at rolls. Nope. No, damn, God, it. damn it. Do you have anything you can do to fix that? Um, Roll your failures with a persona. Or do whatever. you have a wise? Your relevant wise. Can you just add your nature? Oh, that would have been before. I mean, I'll re-roll my failures. I, I don't care about that. Yeah, you can spend a persona to re-roll um, all failures. So you could re-roll uh, three of your dice. Four? One? No, three of your dice. But you have to have a relevant wise, and so you have to tell me what wise you're doing. Okay. Um, what does pathwise mean again? Like, is you know paths and I just understand paths. That yeah. makes sense. So you maybe know the streets, and yeah. You know, you know the easiest maybe, way to run away from this thing. In an well, maybe direction. maybe you were going to go down one path, and it was bad, and you want to go the other. I I don't want to I don't want to play the game for you because that's not fun. But yeah, I mean, I think like, you know, paths um, and like just I'm, I'm just aware of my surroundings and maybe the smell I'm making it. So the smell is actually like positioned towards the turtle because I think it likes it. The scent and, on the wind. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm just trying to, you know, create the right direction and yeah. Path for scent of pie. And also planning my escape route. Uh, but yeah, so that's four. I re-roll. Yeah, uh, three actually. Two. You roll a two, one, and two that were failures. So you need uh, this is this is tough. This is a you're... this is a tough test, my dude. Oh yeah, you're right. Um, you should you should give yourself if you haven't already. Had, did you give yourself supplies for this? No. Oh, you okay. should have. Well, you, you have a pie, right? Okay. I don't. <laughs> You're I'm, I'm a generous. So if this was Torchbearer, I would keep my mouth shut. But because this is Mouse Guard, I would let you know to do that. Um, but feel, you could totally try to um, push me into being like, I think I deserve this die because of this. Right? Okay. I'm cool with well, that. Well, you should roll the six for the pie yeah. before you reroll your failure. Correct. Reroll. So roll an extra d6 right now for the pie. Right. And now reroll that as a fail. Yeah. There you go. Right, so See, I, Blue Jane understands this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're rerolling 46. Yeah. 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 Okay. So now you're rolling Excellent. 46. Good work, team. So and you're spending your persona GM. to do this. Two, Two more successes. Success. Yes. The tie. Yeah. So this is a tie. This is a tie. This is a tie because this is a versus test. Uh -huh. It's okay. It's not a failure. All right. Um. So Can you have no sixes it? to reroll. Can we apply can the you, tool? Like, can you? Can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ash is right there. No, she's no. Just that's not the tool in, the in play. Ash. So yeah. here's what happens. Once again, so the fate uh, rerolling sixes is off the table because you don't have any sixes. Mm -hmm. So the next thing's up is if you have a different wise, you can spend a fate to reroll one of your failures. Uh, the second thing you can do is we go to the um, tiebreaker roll. Have you guys been marking tests, by the way? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Tiebreaker rolls also count as tests being made, by the way. Oh. Did I make one of those? No, I didn't end up. So, doing like, that you get health, will, nature tests like that. Or, or um, yep, that's, that's your only options, because in a tiebreaker on the player's turn, you can break a tie in your opponent's favor, but you, with a trait, but you earn no benefit from it. Mm-hmm. I mean... Wait, in our opponent's favor? Yeah. If you do that on, on the GM's turn, when you do that, you earn two player checks by doing that. Oh, 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 but we're trying to 
break the tie in our favor. Yeah, you would need a level three trait, like the level three trait that um, Ash's sword gives her. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You can, um, for, I think it's like three checks you can spend during the GM's turn, you can boost a trait to level three or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like you, in like a moment, you can do this amazing thing. Yeah. So, yeah. But so here we go. So we go that we go down to the tiebreaker, I guess. I mean, does my escorting wise because I'm escorting oh. this pie. That's to you're escorting hey, the turtle. Esco totally. You're escorting would... the turtle out of the town. Yeah. And and yeah, I'm escorting the pie to the turtle where I can ex escort the turtle out of the town. So yeah. I That's would totally what it, wise. But I feel like we've been talking very meta recent like about this conflict right now. So I will let you do this if you paint me this picture. Paint me this pretty word picture, Colin. Okay, regarding moving the turtle out of the yeah. town. What is well before you or, roll this dice? What does this look like? Um, I've okay. So everyone, it's like very quiet. It, it had been like raucous and everything prior to everything going to shit. But this town, which is set up like a festival, is obviously mm -hmm. like super quiet all of a sudden. So that's super eerie. And I'm approaching yeah. the wreckage of this brewery, um, with this horrible smell. And I'm like wincing just the whole time because it smells bad and like tiptoeing up to it because it's terrifying. But I'm like every once in a while glancing back at my team and like sort of being like, no, I've got to do this and like straightening my back and like marching ahead, but slowly. Mm -hmm. And um, I just I, I try to look the tortoise in the eye and offer this pie in a way that's like, you can have this. And I say this, I'm like, you can have this if you come with me. And I sort of motion to walk this way. Let's walk together over here. And I, I'm very like emphatic about m the motion of the pie through the air, <laughs> like to get it to sort of understand it as to follow yeah my motion it's nostrils um expand right at the smell of the the fish thing like mm, that's good yeah. and um yeah okay so yeah, let's I think, like, let's reroll that failure buddy <laughs> all right let's do it dude uh, you have a 50 percent chance wait what do i have um <laughs> you have a 50 percent chance right now no but what does the wise let me roll what you you spend a fate point to reroll one single failure okay that is not that's not good that's not enough my friend so i think we see the dragon go Porque no los dos? <laughs> as it comes down you know what you know what happened here like yeah it goes Basically, I have this pie, and it's like Ian Malcolm with a flare, and he's like waving it in front of the thing, trying to get its eyes, and then like something happens, like the wind changes, and it like snaps out of its like mesmerization, and I'm like, oh shit, and I have to like start running, and that uh, chaos ensues. Um, well, right. you would be running if you weren't in the mouth of a turtle. But it's still tied, right? Oh, come on. No. <laughs> Wait, is it still tied? Oh, wait, no, 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 it's totally still tied, dude. Oh, you're it's fine. It's still tied, yeah. Um, so, wait, you're, you're tied. Is there, we can go to, um, we can try the tiebreaker roll. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because that's, you, we, we exhausted other outcomes in order to get you pushed forward. So you're not in the mouth of the turtle yet. So that's, let's be that's clear. Good. I really want to avoid the turtle mouth. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. otherwise people are going to have to fight to get you out of the turtle mouth. Yeah, and they have weird tongues. Yeah, they, we established that, the E.T. tongue. Yeah, I looked okay. it up, by the way. It's super weird. Right? Right? <laughs> Freaking giant. It's so weird. Okay. Yeah, so like... All right, let's do this tiebreaker roll. Uh, people can help you on this roll, just like any other roll. But this is going to be against the um, the biting nature of the turtle. Who knew? Of course I am helping. I will help in any way I can. So how do I help with this roll? Like, what is do this I my persuade I'm rerolling or so you can either base this off your nature or base this off health. Oh, okay. Nature then. 
So your nature is to flee from your... Yeah. Is a mouse <laughs> My nature is to get out of there. I think. GTFO. You're well. We're not at that point of getting out of there yet. This was this is a test absolutely against your nature. A mouse going toe to toe with with a snapping turtle. Okay. Um, yeah. I get other it. than just zipping out of here, right? Yeah. So. so it's like literally whether or not I maintain like my yeah capacity what? to yeah. You know what? Mouse. <laughs> yeah. What would have been in your nature would have been like when that thing shows up, you'd been like, we had a good run, Hanamura. Let's go find a new town. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm ready when you are, my friend. Okay. And helping is happening. Yeah. From both of you. If oh, you yeah. want their help, but you have to scroll. Also, how are you guys helping? Um... So this is with nature or health? Yeah. I mean, Ash's natural helping way is to get between danger and a friend, you know? Sure. Um, so, so I think it's just a matter of, like, buying a slightly bit more time by putting herself in, in the line of fire um, if I'm helping with health. Okay willing to do the same thing rosie mm, i think that my um helping here is gonna be with um uh so it's either health or nature you said yeah um i think that i'm gonna help with my uh yeah i guess it's health in so much as that like i'm basically the distraction or whatever if it tries to chomp down i'm gonna be like hey wait like, you're gonna jump out and be like yeah i smell really great yep. oh yeah okay thank you that's perfect that's really good blue jay cool okay. so let's go ahead um let's let's make it so we fucking tied again <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we just tied again. If you tie on a tiebreaker, if we tie on a tiebreaker, it goes to the defender. No, you can spend it. No. Um, do you have a six though? You can spend a fate to reroll a six. Yeah, you do have a six. Yep. Oh. Six. Yeah. <laughs> this is like the just like the most slogging roll ever. We've literally been through like three rolls here. You're you've used literally every single trick in the book. Are you ready for this? Yes. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yes! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Finally, he did it! <laughs> like 20 minutes later, this one action happens. Oh my god. I always knew we could do it. <laughs> <laughs> so it takes the bait. Yeah. And right. you manage to do it in a way that doesn't destroy the bakery or like half the town. Amazing. Right now. Right? So... It's running. It's coming after you. This is the next part before we go into a fight conflict if it fails. Now this is escaping, right? Leading it out of the town. Okay. And of course everyone can help. This is this is literally it's gotten up, right? So so we see the alligator, um we see the snapping turtle, we see the Godzilla, we see the dragon. Um, get up off its belly, um, slowly start to approach you, Aelin. And it's like, that's good. And, and uh, yeah, you see the tail go right over the bakery, and you see its claws start to come to it, and you see its <laughs> head, like, its eyes wide, fixated on that pie. Get out of here, Waylon. Yep, so that we're escaping. So this is within your nature. Okay. So, um, basically, same help with the nature or or, or health. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just. Oh, I help with nature. No, you have to help with nature. I have to help with nature. Yeah, because this right. is a nature test. Nature helps nature. So. It's really so. Like other than skills, abilities help abilities. So circles help circles. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, resources helps resources. Health for, helps health, etc. So okay. like the pie is still skills in play here. skills only helps with skills in a way. Right, just depending on the subset of skills. Mm -hmm. What? Um, so is, is the pie? Do I have supplies? Yeah, still? yeah, still totally. 
Okay. If this would have failed, it could have been you were bit or it ate the pie and it doesn't want to leave and then Blue Jay would have to step in and stuff like that. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is good. Oh, that's that's a good roll. That's a good roll, my friend. My eight dice, though. Damn it. Why? Every time. Dude, I got I got hot dice. I'm also rolling eight dice. It turned. Snapping turtles aren't a joke. Um, cool. So you have two sixes though. All right. Um, Burn all your resources, Colin. We don't want to die. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't have a problem with that. You can you, you can also spend. Persona. Yeah, you can add your persona on nature. You can double yeah, tap your, your nature. Add your nature to your nature. I don't think we ever did that before. I don't think I I don't I should have mentioned that before. And since we haven't, this is probably the one thing of the game we haven't uncovered yet now in the expanse of this entire uh, process. If you have a nature, just you can literally double tap your nature. So you can add mm -hmm. your you can add your nature to a nature role via persona. You turn into the most feral of meese. Like, yes. You are the mouse. mouse. Okay, is that yeah? I guess we want to do that now. Is that are the stakes high enough? And the stakes are so high. These are pretty high stakes, my dude. You're dealing right. with a uh, literally a dragon is chasing you through the town. <laughs> I, can, I don't. I don't know how it can be more clear. This is that than... part in Jurassic World where she like waves the flare yeah. at the T Rex and then goes running in her high heels. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. Say, like I this is. I was gonna say I don't think Waylon's wearing high heels though. This but is... I am like, the, I'm like slowed down by the fact that I'm super full. <laughs> uh, and just like really out of it at this point. Oh, oh, I shouldn't eat those meat buns. <laughs> yeah, I just have like a mad cramp. Cramp, cramp. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it's within your nature to run, run as fast as you can. Yeah. yeah. So you run. Okay. You run so far away. If you fail this roll, I give up. You add this to four. You need at least one. You need two successes. Okay, so I'm rolling my nature again. Yeah, that's it. Plus, this is this is technically okay. adding on top of your previous roll. You okay. should have rolled all yeah. of this together. So help me God, what are you doing, Colin? Colin, is this real? Colin, how is that possible? <laughs> Colin, what is wrong with you, Colin? Is this is this real? Can you like... re-roll your failures somehow? <laughs> no, he just spent his persona. Whole thing. But you have you have your fate to re-roll sixes, and that's it. Okay, so I can reroll two sixes. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> what the fuck, Colin? Come on, how do you uh, do that? Someone Bye. has sabotaged this this macro here. I think I hear I hear Suzanne laughing there's in the a, background, like, maniacally twirling her mustache. Listen, listen, there's a there's a quote that I'd like to throw out here. It's not related to this particular game, but uh, John Harper always says that uh, even on one die, there's a fifty percent chance of success. <laughs> For, for blades it's the same in this game but failure evidently 50 percent chance of total and complete Dude. failure god damn it see it's right. these moments when you also appreciate the awesomeness of elf's rolls in the combat last time <laughs> yeah seriously when it's like you roll 10 dice and get 10 successes yeah, but Iron I also Jesus, I, I also side. I also literally went like and I burn my nature and yeah. I burn my nature <laughs> like yeah. Yeah, you went full Super Saiyan. And this one, right. though. Colin's one trying one. to go Super Saiyan against his okay, dragon. So, so does our... Do, okay, do we have anything we can do? Yeah, sixes, right? No, it's just his sixes. No! <laughs> All right, guys. You I'll eaten. see you later. I, okay, so, so we all get eaten by a snapping turtle, and then we die. So it's, <laughs> if, it's even worse. It's even worse than we imagine. So, to add insult to injury, your nature goes down hmm. by by one for losing. You lose by the margin of failure. So it's not enough. It's too fast. God damn it. Is it's, there nothing we can do? Well, I mean, now there's things to do because the I, towns... I jump in and fight the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> 
So we're gonna we're going I to see, have to fight it. Because I see I see Waylon almost ready to get eat like coming up right close yeah. on Waylon's tail, the big snapping jaws like closing so close and getting closer, and I jump in the way and I slash with my legendary sword and yeah. so begins And such begins the fight conflict. So begins my attempt to drive off a dragon with my sword. <laughs> Guys. <Yeah>. Guys. <laughs> Guys. I can't believe you failed. <laughs> Colin, you're not good at role playing games. <laughs> I'm really no, sorry to I tell you this. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really those, sorry to tell you this, dude. That's hard. Crazy. All right, so here we are. Five failures. Here we are. We're entering a fight conflict. Uh, let's write our. Someone has to be the conflict captain, and then we also write our goals. Our goal is to drive the turtle off. That's a good one. Get it to leave and not eat whale. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I, I'm I'm sort of like on the ground, like I'm sort of on my back, like sort of just out of commission from that for a moment before this new sequence starts. And it sounds like Ash is the one stepping in as the fight captain or whatever. Right? Because okay. Injured injured Ash has to do this now. What? I mean, it, it just sounded like you, you like, jumped in and... Yeah. You know. Yeah. But injured is one, minus one dice to everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just, you know. I'm just going by this scenario. Well, like, sometimes my... you have to roll the hard six. <laughs> sometimes you're injured. All right, let's do this. All right, so um, conflict captains. So we're going to be doing um, some simple stuff here. We're going to be going against nature. So... Um, it's pretty, so we have to do our fighting conflict part. So um, if we recall, fighting is fighter, hunter, or lore mouse, or um, hunter or nature. That's a part I don't remember. Let me look at the conflict sheet real quick. We're doing a fight animal conflict. So you can attack with either fighter or hunter. You can defend with lore or nature. You faint with fighter or hunter, or you maneuver with lore or nature. So defend and maneuver are the same. Lore and nature. Attacking and fainting are the same. Fighter and hunter. Okay. So to roll our disposition, you either roll fighter or hunter, and you add that to our health. Um, everyone here, um, who can you can help on this fighter roll. This helps determine your disposition. This is the remember the the strength of your your case, your morale. Um, conditions apply so injured I believe applies um, and then also anyone who's tired uh, tired gives a minus one success to your disposition score uh, what are we testing for disposition again Eric I'm sorry it's fighter so this is fighter? a fighter test yep okay. fighter test this is a fighter test you don't mark experience for so we're all helping with fighter or yeah whatever. fighter or hunter those are your two choices Doesn't yeah, matter. Fighter for me. any traits supplies or other modifiers I have my legendary sword this yeah, that counts. Supplies. Yeah, I'll give you supplies for this. Um, what ob? No ob. Yeah, it's ob zero. <laughs> We're gonna die. This is how I die. This, this is how the campaign ends with my two. Yeah, that was quick. We got uh, three. Well, three games in. It only gets a four, though. We could, we could, we yeah, could. It's possible. We could have it done in a single blow. I mean, yeah. uh, if I maneuver first, it's definitely gonna die. Or all right, die all right, all right. Uh, I just want to make sure when you make when you make a conflict disposition, do you does the monster add its nature to its nature? Um, you guys did it right. Wait, our health has to be involved, right? Oh yeah, no, you. <laughs> I I definitely add this to its nature. So. Wait, do we add health or? Yeah. What What about us? Yeah, like, you add you add um you add elf's health to it. So six total. You add it, or you also roll health. No, you just added the raw score to it. Yeah. Okay. So six total. Yep. So six out of six. Mm, that's not great. So, um, here's what's gonna happen then. I get to start playing some cards. Uh,
Uh, so how do we want to do this, team? Um, let's wait until he decides how he's going to do things. Okay. And then we'll decide how we're going to do things. Okay. Okay. All right. I think we need to maneuver first. And I'm going to do that because I got my shuriken. Got my okay. shuriken. Um, and that, uh... We can't like maneuver and then maneuver and get the plus, can we? No, uh, it only carries on to the next turn. Okay. Um, well, could it carry on to the next maneuver? Yes. If you, but that means you, okay, yeah. Yeah, but the, um, maneuvering into maneuver doesn't really help us very much because we just get pluses to get pluses, but the pluses don't stack onto the next thing. Um. <laughs> to get meta here about snapping turtles and turtles in general and things with shells in general. They're very defensive creatures and perhaps there's an opportunity to use faint because I'm good at faint well, whenever we need to break. Do you want to put hold our on. eggs let's... in the faint basket? Cause <laughs> I'm just I don't playing know. the nature documentary knowledge card here, but it's probably not relevant to how Eric plays a turtle. So. Hmm. I mean, well, okay. A, I, mean, I, my I don't have to disclose. I play it based on their natures. My only tip is the maneuver first. We can do whatever we want after. Yeah, uh, I think we should go with our patented old faithful technique of maneuver, attack, defend. Uh, personally, uh, were I were I to, or oh. or we could just triple faint or triple attack, and then <laughs> only ever attack. The trip, the trip faints is the true master's technique, really. Um, yeah, I'm sure that'll. that'll it's the, work. the only way to win, as far as I've ever known. Um, no, I'm, I'm fine with the the old standard. The old faithful maneuver. It's fine with me. So we got we got to. I I would consult with Ash anyway. Attack. Yep. Maneuver, and, uh, attack. Um, Love Grunt. Love Grunt has the natures for the 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 snapping turtle correct. It's snapping, turtling, and and more snapping. Why, yeah, I mean, while while you're consulting with Ash, she's busy fighting a sword fight against a dragon. So. Yeah, so you're, when you're staring like, Ash, down. what should we do? She's like, ah! <laughs> this is, yeah. It's okay, it's, that sounds good. Yeah, the good idea. Okay. Literally, so you're in the, yeah, so I feel like the um we're at the point where Waylon, it has eaten the pastry, like, out of your hands, and that's when, like, it's ready to eat you next, and that's when we see Ash step in with a sword, and then we see them um, start wailing. Maneuver. I see. believe that is your maneuver, Blue Jay. Oh, this is so. Rosie's yeah, who's maneuver. who's the order of who's going when? It's Rosie. I do, I do maneuver. Yeah. Is it Rosie Ash Whalen? Uh, Just yeah. so I have your icons in the right order. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. So I maneuver. What do I maneuver with? It's independent. Uh, so you maneuver with the same thing as defend. So that is either nature or lore mouse. Well, I'm gonna use nature, um, and then I get plus two for my shuriken. Yes, because that counts as well. And then y'all are helping me because you're in the fight with me. Yeah. So you're flanking it. You're you're Genjiing it. I'm Genjiing the shit out of this. This is an independent test. So um, what happens in this test, we will both succeed. We just get our margins of success against an obstacle one, right? Okay. So what it means is that we both are going to get a lot of things going into the next round, depending on how good we roll. Well, Does that make I'm sense? I'm going to roll really, really well, so... Yeah. So what they um So I think you're you're trying to fight off this thing with the sword, right? Or are you no, throwing you're I'm, throwing I'm no you're throwing shuriken. Yeah, you're throwing the shurikens and it's getting annoyed, so it's going to try to like come around. Um and and it, it's getting distracted um by this being like what it's what is what is throwing Raylan. that, right? Yeah. Everything and has it's a going weak to point. go after you essentially. Everything yeah. has a weak point and that weak point is the eyeball. That's my plan. Okay, I'm um, testing Gojira, and I roll eight dice. So, yes. Cool. So I get plus three, basically. Um, no, you get five. I get, I get two. Five? Yes, because okay. this is an independent test. Independents occur simultaneously. They occur independent of one another. So this is why attack versus attack is super good and bad at the same time. Okay, so. Yeah. I don't think a snapping turtle has gear. No. Uh, it does, technically. 
<laughs> it does have weapons. You awesome. could find out what they are with a hunter roll to identify what they are. But it says you can spend three to disarm and remove opponent's gear. Yes. But... You could technically, you could theoretically disarm one of its weapons. And I say that specifically because it's plural. God damn it. Would I have to roll Just... nature to figure out if I could disarm it first? Can I do two? No, you. you... You could totally disarm it. I will just, this is what I'll tell you what the names are of its things, of its weapons, and then, then you can decide whether or not it's it's worth doing it. Okay? Okay. So, surprisingly long neck, bony jaws, rigid shell. How do we, that doesn't make any sense that we'd be able to disarm its jaw. What you do, sure, in the way that you just, you attack it from behind or something like that. So it's it can't hit you that way, right? Can I can I spend two twice to get plus four dice to the next action? Um, not in the same turn, but yes. What do you mean? So I think you can carry over disarm. Wait, are you spending disarm twice or are you spending? I have five, I have five yeah. dice from the maneuver to spend on bonuses. Yeah. Can I get... So plus four <laughs> to the next action. Oh no, you can't double spend on the same turn. Okay, so then I misheard your question. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that was my question. Yeah. Um, so the only way to spend all of my maneuver dice is to disarm it and gain dice. Yeah, that seems about right. Okay, well then I guess I will disarm it. <laughs> cool, and it's going to gain position as well. So okay, what are you disarming? It's surprisingly long neck. The shell. It's will bony reduce jaws our, or the shell. Shell will reduce our damage for sure. If if a rhino beetle. Is um, over. I'm gonna disarm it by yeah. I'm gonna be like, okay, like here are the weak points in its shell. I just felt them out with my shuriken. Like here is a good place to attack. I'm gonna okay. disarm the shell. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I oh. felt it out with my throwing stars. Where a good place. Yeah. To attack. What if? What if? Um, for a moment. Bear with me, fictionally, if this is cool. You're attacking from the rooftops, and so it's like trying to turn around, and you end up making it fall on its side because it's like trying to turn around too much, and it falls oh, over. Oh yeah, absolutely. And so it's, it's so it's so if you want to disable its bony shell, it's because it's on its back right now before it rolls over. Oh yeah, that's what happens. It's on its back. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. So fictionally, it's on its back. Um, <laughs> you're 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 doing that Genji turtle. that Genji up the up the th like shooting oh, over yeah. the roof, going back down. You know what I mean? It's um, so impressive. It's very the rosy, impressive. The rosy double jump. You're you're spam <laughs> <laughs> you're spamming. I need healing, and um, let's let's go to the next turn, Ash. So it's it, it flips over, right? It flips over and knocks out like another row of houses because it's just this monster, right? I um, come at it with my sword and I spend a persona point for my nature. Yep. Okay. <laughs> this is an independent test. Sweet deal. So All right. We can both I'm do damage to this. I'm also going to spend the trait fearless. Um, yeah, this is the... This holy is the, fucking hell, if I'm attacking is... its face, I need to be fearless. So I like the idea that it's upside down and you're like, its eyes are level with you. Right? Yeah, I'm going to try and you... give it a good old stab and in the eyeball. So if this, was the, if this was the comic book shot, like the entire back of the comic book page is the upside down um turtle and you're just this little tiny mouse in front of it right like charging it with your um with leaf cutter perfect yeah. so let's yeah. let's rock and roll you, uh, dis you disabled so... its shell right yeah. yeah okay so i'm testing fighter uh, skills are getting five because i'm injured any traits or supplies we got my sword plus my nature oops um which is three, so that's four. Um, you guys are helping me, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. How are you guys helping? F fighter. <laughs> fighter or hunt or hunter? Excuse me. Yeah. You both have those but abilities. I'm fighting. Yeah. Pictures. Pretty word pictures. <laughs> okay. On. Um, I'm doing the Genji thing. Like I'm clambering onto rooftops. I'm throwing stars everywhere. I'm trying to be like. 
everywhere at once and super distracting and yeah. make it so that the turtle doesn't know where it's being attacked from or what direction is which and it's going to be looking out for the genji and it's not going to see the fucking samurai coming at the it's fucking yeah. ulting genji <laughs> yeah the other genji well like a walker and and, um... and like while it's upside down um i have my staff and anytime it tries to like shift to roll over I like have my staff sort of wedged under <laughs> its shell. Like, it yeah, I'm sort of like, you know, flipping like, it back over. <laughs> yeah, I'm like trying to <laughs> keep it flipped over. Good luck. I mean, that thing can like destroy your staff. <laughs> but I like I like the idea. You're tickling uh, it. <laughs> I would like to spend a persona to reroll all my failures uh using the trait Heidi hole wise. Um or the 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 whatever whatever it is, uh the the knowledge the wise Heidi hole wise. And the way I'm doing that is um i always know when there's enough space for me to fit in a small in a small area i know i know where to escape to when i need to escape and its head is level with me there's an eye here and i can go over the eye and like get under it because there's a little divot in the terrain and i get under the head and just like keep attacking its like thick skull um so i'd like to reroll yeah. all my failures please yeah you added the two additional dice you got from rosie right uh no I didn't. Yeah, you got two dice. Yeah, for me. roll, roll, roll those real quick. Okay, okay, so, so you're adding one. You got one additional success. Six, and then one additional failure on top so of the failures that yeah, I have so, there. Right. I can't see all my die rolls because it like goes off the screen. Um, I can see three, two, 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 one. You have plus. one, two, three, four. You have five failures. Five failures. Okay. Yep. Uh, no, six. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Six. It's six because six of the extra yeah. one you just did. Yeah, it's yeah. six total. Uh, 66, yeah. um, two oh. sixes plus no other successes. So that's two sixes and I have two sixes in my base roll. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spend a fate point to reroll on my sixes. Um, so that's we're currently sixes. at eight successes. Um, and now let's roll four sixes and pray. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to burn it guys. If you, if you haven't um, noticed. Yeah. Clearly. Oh man, I can't, I can't actually, I can't flip your card. One second. Oh, sorry. I'll we knew it. we all knew it was attack, but there we go. Yeah. Um. So two more successes. So that's ten total successes over okay. the course of that. So it does. So you brought it down to two, and it's down, and it does five to you. I'm just giving it the old stab, 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 stab move, trying to get at its weak points. Give it, a, give it, give it the leaf cutter to the eyeball. Yes. Go. Cool. Wow, so that was a super dramatic fight real quick as you knock down um, almost all of its disposition in a single blow. Um, however, it's also <laughs> done the same to you guys. Yeah. So um, we just see the slash um, and let's see what the next one is and then we'll help see what our resolution looks like after this attack. So yeah, you do a bunch of fury slashes over it. It cries. You probably get its eye. Right, you went for its yeah. eye, right? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. I'm fainting. Okay, we lose. So if it if it's a faint versus defense, then that's a that's bad. That's, that's real bad. bad for you. Oh, we get eaten by a turtle. <coughs> yep, this is a free attack by me. Okay, so roll. <clears throat> maybe maybe you'll get zero successes. It's possible. That has happened. She that has happened. Know. That has happened in my real life oh. Western one. Um, so I'm rolling. Uh, you want me to eight. roll for you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> right. The reason why we're in this mess in the first place. That would place. be the one time you would roll well. I know. It would just be like straight sixes. Nah, dude. I I crush it. We did. We're all so, dead. We're disgusting. Um, so you a major concession happens. So he wanted to eat you guys. I sacrifice myself. He, sac he wanted he wanted to eat you guys, right? I want, yeah, in fact, he wanted to eat the town. Um, so um, he has no, to offer. I smell really good. I sacrificed myself. Rosie sacrifices herself. Oh, so no, that uh, Jert, Jert brought up something I needed to um, add to. Uh, one matter. of the turtle's weapons is actually an additional success to all attacks. So that's why it is one um, additional to five and not uh it's five and not four. Yeah, it mm -hmm. doesn't matter. So, yeah, that was a really hard one. But you guys fought really hard. You earned a major, major concession from no, this. No, I'm dead. 
Oh, you can't. Just shut up. You're <laughs> stop. freaking martyrdom. You just want to die so you can blame your supports. <laughs> so here's what happens with the major concession. We have to work out what this fictionally ends up being. Okay. So its goal was to eat mice, right? Uh, your goal was to drive it out of town. So perhaps um, it doesn't, it could totally be <laughs> that you could end up Maybe not. Yeah, you're just determined to martyr yourself, aren't you? Um, <laughs> yeah. Let's look at some examples for major compromises. It so, eats me. It eats the bakery. It's, if the winner's here's here's what the book says. Here's that. yeah. If the winner's disposition is reduced to just a few points, he won a very narrow victory. He must grant a major compromise. Imagine the loser nearly accomplishes goal, but is only thwarted at the end. What would that look like? Compromises well, can be used it, by exact it would promises. Look like it would look like the fight we just had. I blinded it in the eyeball, and then it ate us all. Like, that's, <laughs> that's what it looks like. Your I goal is to kill us all. So. Maybe during the fight, it, we do move it, like, partially out of the town. But, like... I mean, maybe we yeah. save the town, also, we definitely don't save ourselves. Um, so or maybe we save ourselves, but the town is done so. That was the whole point. You can't destroy my town. We can rebuild. <laughs> we can rebuild it. Do you? We have to no, well, this is a question. Do you guys go into? Do you? Do you get eaten to save the town? I sacrifice myself. <sighs> these are these are the two options. The town is destroyed. You guys are okay, or like you're all injured, right? No. Or you you did save the town by sacrificing yourselves and getting them out of the town. <sighs> I martyr myself. <laughs> I mean, I can't, I can't. I. I can't really narratively. I after being so close to its mouth, I can't be like, yeah, no, I leave in the town. Get, like I'm busy fighting it. If I lose, I, I leave. like the idea that Rosie sacrifices the. I don't know about the other guys. Maybe that's the like narrow. How, that's how close we are. Is I mean, only Rosie dies for I mean, her village. I mean, Blue Jay. It's I want her. It's, it's yeah, but it's fighting a dragon. Ash would not be unhappy with a with the death that was like the legendary sword leaf cutter he used to fend a dragon off from a town. Well, we could start next session with you guys in the mouth of of or the the stomach of the of the alligator. <laughs> oh, yeah. what? In right? the stomach of the turtle. Yeah. How the it becomes it becomes it's freaking Moby Dick. Pinocchio. Yeah, over it's here. Moby Dick. <laughs> so I mean, like we've already established that Rosie smells like the pie, and like yeah. we've already established that that was the intention was that she was gonna use her health or whatever to defend or help defend whatever. So maybe we see the fight is being lost, and Rosie just like throws herself in the middle of it and it's like get out i mean her whole yeah. thing is like no mouse left behind she's like you guys fucking go yeah I but this is in shot. like this is in direct uh conflict with my goal of like showing that i can lead like Maybe the instant you, you the, rest the instant you motion to like martyr yourself I would be like, oh, I can't let this happen. Uh, and Sometimes like, do the something. The leader has to make hard decisions, Waylon. I would just Go. do something stupid. Like, take and Ash, <laughs> also save the die. town. So, save yourself. <sighs> Come on. Let me have it. I tried so hard to get 12 successes, too. You did. You tried so hard. <laughs> <sighs> I so I what I've already established fictionally that that was what was going to happen if the the situation yeah. had power. All right. I mean, I mean, the dice fell where they fell, and we didn't win, and we had lots of six chances to win. Yeah, we got wrecked. We, we got, got wrecked. Yeah, right. you can just blame just blame Colin. Blame Colin but for that. I blame role. Colin. I mean, it's dice. you're a horrible leader. Um, the... You be scarred for life. <laughs> Rewrite your instincts mm -hmm. and beliefs. The um the thing is right like. I don't think fictionally that w we as a team are the kind of team who would run away and let the town die. No, but that's the thing. Yeah. It's like, we're not. So then. Yeah. So are we gonna... fucking dead? I'm just yeah. trying to argue. I'm trying to argue for <laughs> only for only Rosie dying and not everybody. Is yeah, but you can't argue. control the 
the situation. I right? can't. Like, Maybe it, can I make can I can I make a versus test with my uh, persuade to get you to get the fuck <laughs> out? Well, this is just like a classic like movie <laughs> scene. <Save> yeah. Yourself. <laughs> so it's totally possible. Can I offer you a point of experience to do what I want? <laughs> what are you gonna say, Eric? What did you please? <laughs> what? I'm willing. I'm willing to let. Can so, I fast talk? <laughs> so you lost. You lost a killing conflict, but earned a major compromise. You could be asked to be left for dead, or you can spend your life uh, to maim your opponent. Um, otherwise, doing permanent um, injury. Oh hell yeah! I want to maim the turtle. Definitely. Yeah. Turtles. So you you it has one eye now. Right? Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Hundred percent I blind the turtle in one eye. <laughs> yeah. With my legendary sword that remains in its eye. So <laughs> yeah. So you can okay. Um Yeah. So it's probably Let's see. I like the idea that yeah, most of you guys are 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 knocked out, um, right? But then we do do we want to okay? Do we want to? I like the I really like the idea though that if if Rosie sacrifices herself at the very end to be like in order to save the town. I do too. It's all such right. A cool. That's that's that's, that's right, the let's way. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's fine. So you guys are like it's that moment when like you guys have given it at all, right? Ash has has struck the blinded the thing in one eye, right? And then, like she just hits, uh, Ash gets hit by a claw and goes or goes like flying, right? And like you, it's that point where you're like you're like too weak to get up, and you like we see like Ash trying to like struggle to get up again and like hold the sword, and then we see in the distance like we see Rosie standing there defiantly, <laughs> like if you want me, come and get me, kind of thing, <laughs> right? Smell this. Yeah, and and then and we see the thing um, who's would have been going after to devour Ash. Uh, instead just turns and and starts like galloping towards rosie and um that's probably where it ends then right but ash still has a check oh yeah ash does have a check because that was a fucking long ass fight all because of these spiraling out of control my check is recovering from <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, no, R Rosie. Rosie does the whole like, like. There's, there's. I'm, I'm gonna narrate my death. It's gonna be so good. So, um, yeah. There's this like this moment where like, yeah, the the fighting is like we're in the thick of it. Everyone's sweaty. The music is swelling, and then you have that like, like everything drops, and you just hear like I don't know, like a flute or something. And um, Rosie is standing in this clearing behind two trees and the wind is like blowing from behind her. So the smell of her disgusting, gross, <laughs> fishy smell just like goes like towards the turtle and you see it like turn its head with the sword in its eyeball. And like it looks at Rosie and Rosie looks back at Ash on the ground and she looks back at Waylon and she says, run. <laughs> and then she like, like just you know, does the whole like, uh, like, come at me, turtle. And yeah, that's like, that's she, she's, she's not giving you an option. She's just like, get the out, save yourself, save my parents, so, tell them. And yeah, this is, is, yeah. So this is the reason why I think I like this even more than before, because I know Ash would have been so desperately to be the fatalistic person and they don't get to do it. Yeah. It's really and, great irony. Like, and that it's it's the person who literally let previous session talked them out like what happens at the end of this, and now now the person who told you that is eating that uh oh, is paying is eating that cake oh mm -hmm. the, the, the humble pie. Sword, turns out you should just sword stuff from the very beginning. So it's, yeah, <laughs> but the so, pie was so good. So Rosie's dead. Yeah, I I I I I, I die Ugh. for my town and you folk. Because I guess I give a shit about you. So then I guess next session we'll have to figure out who from Hanamura takes your place. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Fuck. It's definitely your mom. Oh my god. <laughs> Can it be Kiki? Can it be Kiki? 
Or your dad. Or your dad. Or your dad. Your dad's retired. Dad. He comes out of retirement. My dad is no longer retired. Oh, you get to play Bruce Willis in every <laughs> single movie ever. I was kind of hoping the pregnant turtle has its babies at that point, and <laughs> yeah. we like take then we, one. Then we play baby Godzilla. It. Then we play we baby. Take, yeah, we take an egg it. and domesticate it as our own turtle. Yeah. Yeah, oh, we have a turtle God. now. Yeah, Ugh, we're all we're all. Can I play a turtle now. instead of a mouse? No. Oh my God. We're not playing Turtle Guard. Be- now that life has become untenable, can I transfer to the Turtle playbook? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do um, let's do some experience, guys. Oh, except for Rosie. Rosie I, I was doesn't gonna get say any. I know what Rosie's experience is. Fucking dead. Oh, let's do some Artha then. Yeah. So normally you don't you're not supposed to get what your goal is when you lose that stuff. But I believe that's such a better way of ending that conflict fictionally that Damn, we're going with that. Great. So um, I know I, I'm sorry, YouTube. I know you're probably going to be mad being like, why did you do that? You can't do that. And maybe you're right. But whatever. It's uh, cooler this way. Yeah. OK. No, I like how poetic it was. I so, burned every single Super Saiyan dice I had to try. Yeah. And play. I mean. Colin Earn was this. Five failures. Yeah, this is just like I, I mean, yeah, as far as I'm will... concerned, I got robbed in this yeah. game. You could have done. So. It, you could have been the best. Cool. Awesome. <sighs> well, let's calculate some Arthur guys. So, um, I have not been stealing away all of your fate and persona. Um, Ash, you did a lot. You spent. I know you spent a persona and a fate already. Yeah, I did in that last turn. Yeah. What about prior to that? No, that that's it. I, it's the only role I really made this game. Oh, that's true. All right. I just but now, yeah. Everything. Now I feel like Ash, you have something seriously to prove, right? I don't know. I'm really interested in where you go from this. So, or you could have a. Um, you're totally recover. Yeah, wait. You have a check to recover. What are we doing? You also have a check to recover. I was just trying to recover from tired, I guess. Yeah. So that's a ob three health test. Okay. Um, consider, consider that the, the threat's over, um, and that, um, and that Rosie lost. I'll give you an extra die for the town kind of helping you, you know, being like heroes. Okay. It's easier to do it that way. Um, uh, I don't succeed. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> nope. Okay. An ob three health test basically means I'm never going to not be tired. Did you, hold on. Did you get... So here's something though: when you recover, do, are people helping you? Because well, I don't think you can help on, a, on an actual it recovery. It doesn't even matter. Like even a successful help roll would still be a two, and I need three, so it's fine. Well, I think if you're trying to alleviate someone in town, they can do something for you. Um. So he th- let's. I need. I need to stop there real quick because here's something that can that can totally change this. Um. Can change what happens. Um. For the purposes of since Rosie died, um. This could you could also spend a night in town, and by doing it in town, it's an ob technically an ob two resources test to recover. But because it, I would treat it like your hometown, it's actually reduced by one, so it's an ob one resources test for you. Okay. Instead of doing it, if you're doing it in the wild, it's an ob three health test. So that was unfair of me. I should have made that clear. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I mean, I guess I would spend the time to recover and you know apologize so. for failing everyone and like. We well, drove off the thing, but Rosie died, and that's bad. So. Well, Dad I, that's the thing, though. The, he knows the cost of being a mouse guard. Yeah. Dad Mouse is like, you guys saved us. Saved yeah. us all. Yeah. Don't, yeah, say, um, you d- you three saying even about um, the memory of Rosie, you three did what none of us could. That makes you Maple Guard. That makes you who you are, right? You are not failures. Mouse dad. You I succeed. You get it, though. I You're no it. longer tired. I tie it, yeah. I don't know. Right. Tying it means I don't... It does. It does. It's Because it's a um a base obstacle and not a versus. Okay. So you got it. You're no longer tired. And that's why I brought that up. But you are still injured, which sucks. Um, I think it's fair to say, Waylon, you're injured. Mm-hmm. As well, starting next, <laughs> your condition is Waylon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. 
<laughs> and Rosie is dead. I had to come up. I have to get an artist to make you a, a for for dad. Dad mouse. Yeah, for dad mouse. <laughs> dad mouse. Dad mouse. <laughs> like drummer boy did dad mouse. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Dad so, mouse. Yeah, this is a this is a um, this is a big deal. Um. Mm. Yeah, Rosie just gave their life. Boy. I, um, I, I, it seemed like the most fictionally appropriate for not having us all die because we still have to go on. Yeah. 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 No, no, I'm, I'm totally on board with that. It's just heavy. But now it's just like, boy, okay, we recovered. Let's do Artha. Yeah. All right. So, um, did I ever tell you guys you can recover in the GM's turn if you get, if you spend two checks? Mm-hmm. Okay. I just want to make sure. How do we get checks by failing on purpose? Yeah, you you spent you use a trait on your roll negatively. So you mm -hmm. you describe how one of your traits is impeding progress, and so you get like a minus one die to that test, and you earn a player check. So okay. something to something to be aware of. Okay. Okay. Cool. So Artha beliefs. Who played up their beliefs today? I didn't. Uh, minor old sword related and the first thing we did was not sword so I don't mm -hmm. think I get any well maybe not no you totally wanted to draw your sword against the thing yeah but I didn't though that's true you played against it but was the solution found at the tip of your sword like your belief says I mean sadness was found at the tip of my sword <laughs> plus uh, you know the last ditch effort was found at the tip of my sword, but I wouldn't say that. I mean, I guess success in terms of the goal, sure. Um, but it says the best solution is down at the tip of my blade and always draw my sword at the first sign of danger, which means that, like, the best solution was that we lead it away. So the best solution wasn't found. I don't think I got any of this, this game. I would argue that I, I didn't play to my to my beliefs. So let me, be, let me, let me make a very clear distinction about something. Just because you didn't succeed when your belief is on the line, that does not mean you didn't play towards it. Yes, Eric, but the best solution is found at the blade of my sword. We I didn't. Mean, I didn't choose to do that first. Maybe it reinforced your beliefs, though, because like that all failed. Yeah, look what happened when you didn't do it. I guess. Right? So like, maybe you just believe in that harder. Look, Isn't oh, that helpful? yeah. No one knows Ash better than you do, right? Yeah. So if you don't think that's true don't we're we're full of shit and you're right right i don't know i think i don't think i get anything for that i don't think i get anything today okay i mean my goal was slay the dragon and we didn't manage to do that either yeah but you're in fate for that yeah but um we'll get there real quick i mean mark fate for now but um let's just go around okay so who else had a um colin what about Waylon? Sorry, Blue Jay, you don't get any experience. <laughs> it's totally fine. Don't worry about being, it. Being I a mean, meal. Okay, so for my belief, I started out the day uh, happily feeling fulfilling my belief in, you know, just nomming on some uh, steamed buns, and then I never used it again uh, because it was super serious the whole time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not, so. a, not a good belief for that nope it was not the right one for today and you never played against it either no so you know persona yeah and uh are we going through everything one day um yep the next or the next one instincts did you play I your did, instinct i did consult ash um kind of on two occasions definitely one um i think right yeah okay yeah you spoke to me twice about what we should do exactly great cool so you earned yourself some sweet sweet fate fate and ash did you draw your sword at the first sign of trouble uh yeah i did cool i had my sword in my hand that whole time except when i was laboring excellent Cool. So then um, let's keep going. Next up is goals. 
so like we said with you, Ash, already, if your goal was to slay the dragon, you were partially succeed uh, successful. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't succeed in slaying but the dragon, you... but also it was physically impossible for us to slay it, so I, I couldn't have slayed it alone. You cannot slay it alone. You would need an army. You yeah. would need, or you need, you would need to recruit, recruit more mouse guards to help you. How much fun would that be to get revenge on that creature now? Right, like that's an option. It could be a thing. If you want to be like, if you, we can talk about it in chat later. But if you're being, if you want to be like, let's go after that thing, then I could totally design a mission about us hunting it down. <laughs> right, but um, cool. So uh, let's keep going. Um, so we just did goals. What was your goal, Colin? What was Wayland's goal? Show my friends they can trust me to lead. Um, that's a I, tough goal to have because that's yeah, that's contingent. That's contingent on satisfying what your other friends being the gatekeepers for that. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I mean, I definitely like pursued it, but I did not. Uh, yeah, like complete it again. Okay. Sure. So fate. Cool. Um, MVP. Then we do the persona worthy ones. Most valuable player. I think should uh, I think honorably should go to Rosie. Yeah. MVP every game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm um, the person that post, posts post up in what, Overwatch. What is it? Is it post posthumously? Posthumously? Yeah. Post, I think it's just yeah. posthumous. Post, posthumous. Post, posthumous. Posthumous. Posthumously. Posthumously. I've never had to say that word out loud before. <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So posthumously goes to Rosie. Try hard. No, getting herself killed. Workhorse, the person who helped the most, the person who tried everything. I think would probably go to Waylon, who was trying yeah, to do I agree. everything. I agree. It was Waylon. Keyword being try. Yeah, not, not succeed. You made you made lots of rolls this game. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, drummer boy, you're totally right, dude. At the end of the game, old wise Ash the, is, is a gray is, who's went from black fur to gray, living in the shell of a dead dragon turtle. One day. One day. Cool. So, um, the last one is embodiment. Uh, the person who embodied the character the most played up their conditions if possible. I'm kind of leaning towards Waylon because you were actually yeah. doing a lot about describing how often you were tired. The cramps thing from eating a yeah, lot, you know. Yeah, but, yeah, okay. Okay. Are we cool? Um, all right. Bam. All right, then we're done. We did experience, guys. So Huzzah. Huzzah. Wait, was, the, was, the, was that um, fate or... Oh, that's Persona. persona. That's Persona worthy. All those ending ones are Persona. Okay. Cool. So we are done. Um, let's go around and say who we are and who outros. Elf. Hello, everyone. I am Distracted Elf. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Distracted Elf or on Twitter at Distracted Elf. Um, I do lots of random game stuff and lots of tabletop things and i'm in the roll 20 game with blue jay on thursdays and fridays um is that on for tomorrow we do no i don't okay. think so uh is it i don't know are we no no okay. yeah um and then uh on monday i played a blades in the dark game uh on my channel and on tuesdays i'm running apocalypse world over on brad widow's channel so i'm everywhere i'm all over the place yeah I live on the internet. Yeah. Awesome. Colin. Uh, I'm Colin. Um, on the internet, you can find me on Twitter um, slash S-V-N-D-E-R. Um, you can also throw my Twitch a follow, and maybe I'll stream one of these days soon. Also S-V-N-D-E-R. And um, yeah, uh, thanks. Thanks for watching us pull this Gandalf moment. Um, yeah, and I'm. Ex I just want to say, like, I'm excited for when uh, Rosie comes back as Rosie the White um, <laughs> down the line. <laughs> Not so. she dead though. She's she's super dead. She dead though. Drummer Boy said something about like living in the in the shell of the ash ashes. Oh oh. Okay. After yeah. after getting revenge. <laughs> yeah. Being like the shit oh. I've seen. Yeah. That's also a great so great prediction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and Blue Jay. Uh, hey. I'm, Blue, I'm Blue Jay, and I got everything I wanted because y'all are too nice to me and let me do whatever the shit I want, even after you say, no, we shouldn't do that. And I'm like, yes, we should. And then you're like, God damn it, Blue Jay. So thank, thanks for putting up with me. Um, uh, you can find me at uh, twitch.tv slash Blue Jay or on Twitter um, at Blue Jay underscore 712. Um, you can also find me with Elf on twitch.tv slash Rule 20 app most of the weeks on Thursdays and Fridays. But um, this week we're, you know, shit's going on. So um, we skip this week, but we'll be back next week. Um, and then I don't know what's happening with Ms. Clicks. Um, a little yeah. bit of a hiatus, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you for letting me have the um, heroic An honorable death. death. Yeah. I, I wanted it so badly. Yeah. I mean, you can have to have a samurai game with heroic deaths. Yeah. So it was you. bound to happen at some thank point. Thank you for that. Yeah. That I was appreciate awesome. it. Yeah. That was cool. Now, hopefully don't heroically die in your burning wheel game coming up. I Survive. Might, I might just do that, though. Survive. I mean, I don't know. I haven't I'm made just, my character. I'm just, I'm just Desperate gonna, killer. Throw everyone else under the bus. Embrace the ni- <laughs> embrace the nihilism. With- <laughs> I am um, yeah. all, all paths lead to just for a killer. Every single True. life path leads great, to just for a killer. That um, yep. Make sure you get the extortion skill. Extortion. Just saying, extortion. Every time anyone asks you to do anything, make them pay you for it. <laughs> just extort money out of them. It's the great. It's a, an amazing consequence to every single duel of wits. To be like, okay, but I got money out of it. So okay, so um, yeah, that's it. And I'm Eric. I'm Eric Volgaris. I do a lot of stream strams um schedules changing in a little bit um in a couple weeks after um i do some stuff with misclicks which is i'm excited to do i'm gonna be a show producer for their stream of annihilation so i get to do all this fancy stuff um let me see if i can show you guys this because i'm super happy about this thing i just got a stream deck that i'm gonna use to like do all the like editing stuff and do yeah the elgato thing to do some cool, cool like production stuff with it so that i'm gonna go all out i love doing production stuff like that i have a huge like a lot of people have been commenting about how much they love the art and stuff for this game and things like that and so like i love doing well i'm not making the art for the show i like stringing all the pieces together and the fact that i'm not gming and doing the the talking parts of the game means i can focus on that i'm really excited for the stuff i can come up with uh, for that show so it'd be really cool so all right that's it for us today guys thank you so much we'll be back next week See ya. Thank you for watching uh, issue number three of Under the Fallen Maple.